Welcome into Percy Perry Stadium, ladies and gentlemen. Just about ready to get underway here for the start of Canada versus Team Indigenous in the men's division. And just like that, we are underway. Lucas Price, your starting goaltender for Team Canada, going head-to-head -head with Keegan Melanchuk for Team Indigenous, playing in their second game of the day. They fell at the hands of Team Mexico earlier this morning. Canada, however, getting into their first bit of action in this World Lacrosse Super Sixes event. Temeka Godfriedson showing off his footwork. Pass over to his right, and the shot sent just wide. Lucas Price will come out of his crease to collect. And he'll leave for Garrett Winter. Quick feed up, deflected high off the stick. Of a jumping Keegan Lady able to maintain possession. Now shot and a save by Melanchuk. He drops down to a knee and sends his team the other way in transition. Driving through a few defenders and Price reaching for it. Couldn't quite find it. Team Indigenous will maintain possession. Shot and a low save by Price. As he drops down to a knee and sends it up to Robbie Turpin. Fresh off of a Minto Cup victory with the Junior A Coquitlam Adnax shot. And there's our first goal of the game. And Brandon Kirby fires that home and heads back for a defensive shift. David Charney out here as well, another member of that Minto Cup winning team. There's a shot blocked before it got through. Shot clock still with 13 seconds remaining. Perimeter pressure here from the Canadians. Leading by one in the early stages of the opening quarter. Shot and a save. Another one by Price. He's up to two saves already in this game. That one of the leaping variety. Still able to keep a leg down. Now a quick shot sent well wide off the corner fence. It was courtesy of Garrett Winter. Team Indigenous gets back into the offensive zone. Lefty's going to go to work first. Baker wants the pass, gets it. Lobs one down to the corner. Driving shot, scores. Tie game. Now Canada looking for an answer. Melanchuk takes it away, but his team is going to take a penalty on that. I believe it was Nathan Grady Sam on the goal for Team Indigenous. But regardless, back even. And Canada on the power play here. Pass over to the far side. Knocked loose and kept alive by Blake Young. One hand on his stick, he'll drive from behind, skip one over to Turpin. Shot and another save. Melanchuk. Again, dropping low, and both goaltenders already with a few saves to their name, and now another penalty will go against Team Indigenous. Now, down by two, albeit even at a 1-1 tie score. Canada, the heavy advantage shot scores. Brendan Murray steps into a bullet from about 10 feet out and fires it past Melanchuk, who launches one up, caught on the run, shot in. That one might have caught a piece of the post. And look at Godfriedson on a beautiful pass from Keegan Melanchuk. Continues to watch on as Sakani Baker fires one towards deflected but saved nonetheless by Lucas Price, and he'll reach out of his crease. And send it up. Now Turpin on the run. Gets away from some pressure. Lobs one back to the perimeter. Jump shot sent wide. Alan Gain couldn't get it on goal. And that'll go cleanly out of play.
Pace starting to pick up here in the opening quarter. But we remained tied and Price keeps it that way. Another save falling backwards but closing the five hole. Canada escapes the zone. Pass down low, shot scores. Garrett Winter finds his first. He'll head off for a change. Melanchuk, excuse me, three to one in favor of Team Canada. Now a delayed call coming up against Canada once they do collect possession. Skip feed comes to the near side. Sam back over and Team Indigenous is gonna call timeout here. So we're gonna take a quick break and when we come back, we should see a power play for Team, Indi for Team Indigenous. We'll be back after this. So back to the action we'll go as in Team Indigenous is going to go to work on the power play following a penalty to David Charney. Chance to cut the lead. Sakani Baker fires that one. Sails it over the goal and over the fence. Possession Canada. Lucas Price. He's had a strong start to this game as has Keegan Melanchuk. Both goaltenders with a few saves already. Canada. Remains in the offensive zone, still shorthanded. Now Charney out of the box and a goal on the run. Chalk it up for Blake Young. As he fires that one past Melanchuk. The lead is now up to three. Andrew Sam shooting and that goes into the midsection of a kneeling Lucas Price. Sakani Baker. Knocks it free and gonna take an interference call there as well. So Canada will keep possession. That shot goes off the post. Straight downhill, Winter. Couldn't find the back of the net. Now another one hits the post back to back. Excuse me, that first one was Oscar Lucas. And then followed up by a shot immediately afterwards, hitting the other post, Brandon Kirby, looking for what would have been his second. Now Turpin, stopped by Melanchuk, and his team will try to counter, looking for their second goal of the game. Sakani Baker likes what he sees. He'll drive, he'll shoot, and Price will ricochet that over to the far side. Now Charney, pass down low. Oscar Lucas, a good job to knock it down. And as that one goes out of play, it will go back to Team Canada and they'll get a reset. Oscar Lucas, down to Charney, he scores. Just shovels that with his back towards the goal and he'll head off for a change now with Team Indigenous looking for some sort of an answer, trailing five to one. Baker had that great look a few moments ago. Tries to tuck underneath, gets to the crease and gets it on goal. Price sends that behind the goal off another save and it will be Canada here on a breakaway. Young puts it into the top corner. Another one for Team Canada as Young finds his second. Six to one they lead. Shot stopped by Price. Late stages of the first, Canada finds the back of the net once again. They're on a streak of what feels like three straight goals on three straight shots after hitting back-to-back -back post just before that. The offensive team Canada certainly heating up to say the least. Lucas skips one far side, backhand shot and that one might have caught a piece of the post as well but Melanchuk takes it from behind his cage. And 
team in Digitus now will call timeout. Is that the end of the quarter? Okay, never mind. No timeout. That's the end of the quarter. We're going to step aside for the next couple of minutes. When we come back, it will be the start of quarter number two. Back for quarter number two in this men's matchup between Canada and Team Indigenous. It is Canada leading seven to one and a chance to make it eight to one. Melanchuk makes another save. He's been strong in this game despite the deficit. And Lucas Price watches on between the pipes for Team Canada. And he's been just as strong. His team gets back into the offensive zone. Winter looking for a lane. Can't find one, so he'll shovel to the near side. Keegan Lady. Back over, shot a bouncer, stopped by Melanchuk. His second save already in quarter number two, and he'll send one up in transition. Grady Sam tries to tuck one inside, can't beat the goaltender, but does avoid the crease. Second chance scores. That one from a tough angle. And Team Indigenous back onto the scoreboard after a long run of Canadian goals and another save. Melanchuk denies the shooter in Alan Gain, who is a little bit shaken up, and he's going to head off for a change limping. I'm sure he got a rough ride for his efforts. And Gain is in some discomfort over on the sidelines. He gets back to his feet now, but a penalty on the play going against Team Indigenous. And Canada's lethal power play with another opportunity here. Brandon Fitzgerald. Over to the far side. Down low to the crease. Skip feet again. Fitzgerald scores. Finally, they find a way to beat Keegan Melanchuk in this quarter. He had three early saves before allowing that one, and the lead is now 8-2. to two. Sakani Baker splits and turns back from the corner. Steps into a shot. Stopped by Price. That one's certainly going to sting, but he... Puts another save in that column. David Charney puts his second home. A save at one end, a goal at the other. Now Team Indigenous got to get this over center. No pace, and that'll be the 10-second count. A relatively unforced error. Here comes
comes Canada. Trying to extend the lead, and that one was labeled top corner, but Melanchuk just caught a piece of it and deflects that one over the net. Now to play. Fresh 30 for Canada. Bobbled pass, but chased down. Robbie Turpin sends it over to the near side. Keegan Lady. Passed through and knocked down. Kept after, though. Drive shot scores. Oscar Lucas. A little more pace here for Team Indigenous. Andrew Sam escapes the pressure of the latest goal scorer, Oscar Lucas. Now Sakani Baker tries to tuck one five hole. Cannot beat a falling. Lucas Price. And the rebound sends his team the other way with a quick opportunity. Another case right there. Save at one end and a goal at the other. Team Indigenous again looking for an answer. Shot, stick save by Price. Quick pass goes up. Run on two and pass in front. One more scores. The patience on the original move and the pass in front finds Charney and he's up to three in this game. Now he'll stay and play a defensive shift. Another save for Price. And then it'll be a crease violation going against Team Indigenous to give possession right back to Canada. Long feet up, all alone in Fitzgerald with nobody near him. Not going to miss from there. One on one drive and kept into a tough area. Brandon Kirby, good defensive shift, and he continues to park himself on top of the crease now. Sakani so Baker, 10 seconds to shoot from way outside. Fakes the spin back, tucks underneath, one hand on his stick, shovels towards the goal, and Price, active with his stick, picks that one off the turf. Pass was out of the reach of the intended target. Now a chance for a two on O for Team Indigenous. Clear cut breakaway, scores. Now 13 to three in favor of Team Canada. It's Turpin. Splits over top, pass goes down low, shot scores. Missile from in tight, Brandon Kirby finds the back of the net once again. Here come the Canadians. Turpin just could not quite handle it, David Charney Looking for the loose ball, finds it and connects again with Turpin and Canada will retreat to the outside. 13 seconds remain on the shot clock. That shot was blocked, second chance scores. Fortunate rebound goes right to Canada and into the back of the net. Now an Aaron pass goes back to Price. David Charney first to collect. And he wants a change, he'll dish and head off. Now Blake Young. Waits for the late change. Fitzgerald somehow keeps possession, sends it back to Young. Far side feed now, under 10 to shoot. Winter with a twister and steps through the crease. And Melanchuk made the save either way and penalty on the play. Believe to Team Indigenous, so Canada will Maintain possession and another opportunity here on the power play. Winter is going to start off with possession. Got Blake Young to his left. Sends it to him now. Backhand feed down to the crease. Shot and a stick save. Melanchuk. Lobbed up on the run, perfectly placed, shot. And that one sent wide. 
Price went down, but didn't end up having to make a save. Pass to the crease, shots, scores. Canada makes quick work of that transition. We're now back to even strength once again. Team Indigenous trying to find any kind of an answer. A falling shot stopped by Price. Into the late stages of quarter number two, Canada leading 16 to three. Turpin fires. Ellen Chuck registered with another save. And Turpin knocked down to draw an interference call, keeping possession in favor of Canada and a fresh 30 to work with. Turpin switches hands, sends it over to the lefties. Scores another one low on Melanchuk. And Team Indigenous just unable to find an answer to the onslaught of offense here from Team Canada. Temika Godfriedson with the latest bid towards the goal, but that one goes wide and through the fence. And that will bring us to the end of the opening half. It is Canada 17, it is Team Indigenous 3. And when we come back, it will be the third quarter here in this men's matchup. Thank you for joining us here on BC Sports TV. I'm Tino Farah, and we'll be back with more World Lacrosse Super 6's action after this.
Welcome back to Percy Perry Stadium, live from Coquitlam, British Columbia. It's the World Lacrosse Super Sixes. It's Tino Farah. It's Canada versus Team Indigenous, and Canada already leading 17 to three. Find the back of the net quickly. It's Garrett Winter. Rips one past Keegan Melanchuk to make it now 18 to three. Their dominance looks to have carried over into the second half. That shot sent wide. Pass to reaching Lucas Price, who's been so strong in this game. Seen limited shots, but has still made a handful of saves despite the ball being at the other end of the field, which of course is a result that he will take every single time. Now another delayed penalty coming up against the Indigenous. Shot goes wide, and that'll give us a whistle as the ball goes out of play, and Canada will get another power play opportunity, something that they've been successful when having throughout this game. Adam Noakes will send it down to his left, immediately sent right back to him. Noakes fires in, Melanchuk makes the save, rebound goes over to the far side. Noakes with it once again, skips one down low. Lucas back to the perimeter. Heavy shot blocked before it got through. Tamika Godfriedson putting his body on the line and he'll grab the loose ball himself and head off to the races. He's got Lucas on his back, spins towards the middle and lost it. Fitzgerald collects and looks up. Noakes spins, takes his defender's stick with him. There's a shot from Charney in. Goes into the top corner. Excuse me, I believe that was actually Blake Young. Now shot, and Price makes his first save of the second half. Taking that one right into his midsection. Now Young. Charney shot, blocked. Falls to the turf, gets his own rebound, and twists one home. Sakani Baker backpedaling his way away from some pressure. Defense has help underneath, so he'll try to skip one over and picked off off to the races. Go the Canadians, and that one goes off the post. Garrett Winter dipped his head to sell the goaltender and couldn't beat the goaltender's best friend and dip and dunk from inside. Team Indigenous gets one back. Fitzgerald to Fisher, tucks and spins back, gets his hands free, back to Fitzgerald, and that goes off a body and well over the net, well over the fence as well, so will remain possession Canada, and they'll get a fresh 30. Brandon Kirby is going to start off this possession. On the near side corner, excuse me, so not a fresh 30. That one goes off a defender and out of play. They'll get the shot clock down to about 17 seconds. Still plenty of time to work with. Now Turpin. Return feed to Kirby. No looker. Shot scores. Alan Gain. Shaken up in the first half. Glad to see he's all right. Got bodied for his efforts there, but still found the back of the net. Andrew Sam. Feed over to the far side. Low shot and Price dropping down to his knees. Sends that over to the corner. Now a penalty coming up against Team Canada. That shot sent wide and it'll be a slashing call. Going against the Canadians, our first chance in quite some time to see Team Indigenous on the power play. Now trailing 21 to four. May there be a comeback on the horizon. Time will tell. Baker, back to the point. One hand feed down low, out of the reach of the intended target chasing it down was 
Jack Henhock. Speed looking back to him and out of his reach, so Canada will go the other way, still shorthanded. Turpin. Pass goes down low, shot and a save, denying Oscar Lucas right in front of the crease. That's Keegan Melanchuk. Lucas keeps after it, but goes out of play, and he'll apply a little bit of pressure here on the forecheck with Team Indigenous. Still a little bit of time remaining on the power play. Sakani Baker. Shopping for a target, finds one and a bouncer far side. Return to Baker. Skip down to the corner, but deflected off the stick. The intended target beside the crease, and that'll go out of play as Canada just a couple of moments away from returning to even strength, which we will go to now. Adam Noakes gets over top. Pass beside the crease and goes off the crossbar and out of play. Will remain possession for Team Canada and they will go back to the power play. Murray skips one through, shot. Melanchuk makes the save, denying Blake Young who chases down the rebound. And it remains on the power play. Fake shot and a pass down to the corner. Murray, back to the point. Heavy shot and that'll go high over the net. And that one might have gone all the way back to Maple Ridge. How wide that was. Possession for Team Indigenous. Still trailing 21 to four. And remains shorthanded. Shot scores on the run. Trevon Hunter rips one home and Canada looks to answer back, scores. Ty Fisher finds his first of the game. Father Jeff Fisher in attendance for this game. So 22 to 5 with under a minute remaining, roughly, we think. Again, apologies for any discrepancies on the time remaining on our score bug. If you've seen any of the games earlier today, you'll know that we are running a clock separately on the broadcast than what's going on in between the benches, unfortunately, and clock not always synced up here, but roughly 20 to 40 seconds remaining, we'll say, until quarter number three will conclude, and we'll get a quick two-minute break the pass was off the mark. Maybe one last opportunity here for Canada. Clear-cut breakaway for Alan Gain on the run. And he made no mistake putting that into the top corner. Melanchuk. Pass picked off. Maybe another last-second opportunity for Canada. Another breakaway and a save this time. Melanchuk. Denies David Charney, not happy with himself after that one. But with Canada well in front, I'm sure he'll share a laugh about that opportunity after the game. Baker over top. Return feed on an unintentional bounce pass. Back to Baker, skips one through. Knocked down, Canada will take possession. To the final 10 seconds. Flip pass in front. And Charney couldn't connect once again. Pass goes all the way to the other end of the field, and that will conclude quarter number three. Canada 
up 24 to 5 with one quarter remaining. And when we come back here on BC Sports TV, we will bring you the final frame. You're watching the World Across Super Sixes. Back inside Percy Perry Stadium. As the two number 11s are going to line up at the faceoff dot here in Brandon Fitzgerald for Team Canada, Andrew Sam for Team Indigenous. The final quarter is underway with Canada leading 24 to 5, and they'll give possession to Team Indigenous following the faceoff win, but unable to. Keep it in play was Garrett Winter. Team Indigenous. Put that one off the side of the net, but they will likely go 0-2 in the first day of action here from the Super Sixes. There's a goal from Fitzgerald. Another breakaway there. Finds the back of the net. Pass Melanchuk. But they fell earlier this morning to Team Mexico. There's a drive and a save by Price. Possession Canada, crease violation. So this being Canada's first game in the men's division. Of course, the women played and took home a win and a nail biter against Great Britain, who improved to one and one after they took down the Haudenosaunee women earlier this morning. There's a shot, another goal for Team Canada. Oscar Lucas gets another. Now Sam, jab step, shot, scores! Sidearm bouncer beats Price. Brandon Kirby to Young, back to Kirby, skips one through, Twister and Melanchuk. Got enough of it. Looks like he lost where the rebound went afterwards, but a defender came in to help. Now Sakani Baker. Robbie Turpin watches on him, keeping him at bay. Defensive shift that will likely please SFU coach Mason Hicks watching on. There's a few SFU guys, from what I understand, on this team. There's a shot and a save from in close. Melanchuk stares down. Brandon Kirby denied. Now Winter waits for a late change. Sends one over to the lefties. Lucas 
And the ball comes over back to the near side. Fitzgerald skips one back to the lefties once again. Drives off ball, doesn't get the pass. Shot, and that'll be a stick save by Melanchuk. Quick up, a bullet, and unable to reach that on the run. Goaltender Price will send it right back to the offense. Fitzgerald and a stick save. Both goaltenders going save for save here in quarter number four. Now Temica Godfriedson passes down low to the crease. Shot stopped by Price. Another crease violation. Stretch feed finds Allen Gain. And scoring into the top corner is Keegan Lady. No defender near him. He'll just step one or step into one and rip it top left. Now Godfrey's in. Will likely try to mimic that as he ends up working in tight shot. And Price lost where it went, but made the save as it rolls over to his left. Charney gets back to the perimeter. Drives low once again. Flip pass through reverse backhand. And that'll be stopped by Melanchuk. Blake Young. Showing a little creativity, but cannot beat the goaltender. Andrew Sam has a goal in this quarter. As he switches hands, makes himself a righty for this possession. Swim move, switches back to his left and scores. Two goals in this quarter for Andrew Sam, and that one, the prettiest one thus far. Canada looking for a response in their own right, still leading. By 20. But a couple of solid shifts here for Team Indigenous. Bobbled pass. A little lackadaisical here for the Canadians. They get back to the outside. Turpin down low. Shot blocked. And the shot clock will expire. We get closer and closer towards the conclusion of this game. Still with more sixes action on the horizon. So after this one, we have Team Canada versus the Haudenosaunee in the women's division. That'll be a 7 p.m. start. And then the conclusion of day number one will be Canada versus Mexico in the men's division. And that'll be a battle of two teams trying to improve the 2-0. and The Haudenosaunee women will look for their first win of the tournament in Canada, or the women at the very least, looking to go 2-0 and in that matchup as well. Price stepping out of his crease to collect once again. Canada going quickly the other way. In transition. Charney. Good hands to maintain possession. Shot. A beautiful save by Melanchuk. He's had a couple of five alarm chances from right on top of the crease. And I think back to that breakaway by Charney and towards the end of the third quarter that he denied. Now that chance as well. That one. Goes off of the post and out of play. Canada will keep possession. But we've been treated to some highlight reel saves in this game. And there is the aforementioned Charney. Wants to try the hidden ball trick. Not going to fool the defenders this time. Pass goes back to the perimeter. Gain drives underneath. Head up looking for a target. Lobs one off the stick of Blake Young and back over center. Here's Kevin Henhock. Behind the net they go. Shot and Price makes the save again, dropping down to his knees. 
He is going to have some bruises after this one, that's for sure. Now Young, shot. Melanchuk caught a piece of it, but a lot of that hits the post as well. And now Young looking for his own rebound and will find it. Gets a reset for Team Canada. He'll lob one back to the outside. Winter. Oscar Lucas had a tough time with that pass, but maintains possession. Now he'll drive and create some space. Rolled through the middle, didn't get the pass. Now shot scores. Keegan Lady, we've seen that sidearm a few times in this game, and there's another one going top left. The final few seconds don't want to count here as one last second shot for Sakani Baker goes wide, and that will bring us the conclusion of this one. 28 to 8 is your final in favor of Team Canada. And when we come back here, it'll be Canada versus Haudenosaunee in the women's division, but we will step aside. Thanks for joining us. You've been watching the World Across Super 6 is live on BC Sports TV.